Hey there all, today we'll look at one of the most frequently asked questions that we get. What is an ECE 2205 certification? Sebastian from Champion Helmets here, and as we all know, a motorcycle helmet's purpose at the end of the day is to keep your head safe. But the question is, how do you know that what you're buying will actually perform as advertised? In simple terms, this is where ECE 2205 comes in as a measure of quality assurance to have a basic standard of protection that all helmets have to meet. You'll usually find a sticker with a certification on the back of the helmet, or if not, it's also mentioned on the chin strap. But right off the bat, the most important thing to know is that no test is perfect and no test is equal. Why? Mainly because of differences between the US and Europe in terms of safety schemes, as well as the huge range of ver variables involved in motorcycle crashes. So with that disclaimer over with, let's get to it. If you'd like to check out more helmet reviews and road tests with your newfound safety knowledge, make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of our YouTube channel, where we have plenty more guides and tests. To start with, the basic underlying principle of ECE 2205, which stands for Economic Commission for Europe Resolution R2205, is it's a test of the helmet's impact absorption, abrasion resistance, and environmental resistance. To do that, the helmet goes through a whole bunch of different tests, including hot and cold tests, chemical solvent tests, chin strap tensile strength, as well as the visor test and the classic impact absorption test, where the helmet is dropped on an anvil and the force transmitted to a head form is measured. This is what a basic ECE 2205 certified sticker looks like. It's generally gonna have the ECE 2205 name, as well as the helmet's size and weight. This is a newer system for testing, so its pros would be its age, strict application, since you don't get a sticker until you pass. The last major pro is that it is accepted across Europe, so it does simplify things, and it uses a much lower maximum energy transmitted threshold. The main cons of the ECE method is that it is mainly conducted at lower speeds, and impact energies. So you don't have as good of an idea for how it'll do on the highway and they only test out the same points on each helmet. And while this does make it more comparable, it also can lead to manufacturers gaming the system and anticipating this. Though if you buy one from a well-known brand, this hopefully won't be a problem. However, ECE is not the only testing system. You've also got Sharp from the UK as well as DOT and Snell from the US. So for ECE versus Sharp, the main difference is that Sharp tries to go above and beyond the ECE testing parameters by including a higher speed impact test of multiple shell sizes to have a better idea of the forces experienced in a crash, not to mention it's also voluntary. Before briefly looking at ECE 2205 versus DOT, it's important to mention that these aren't interchangeable and that manufacturers often have subtle differences between their helmets for Europe and the US. That being said, DOT FMVSS 218 tests at higher speeds and it can test anywhere on the helmet, so it's harder to game the system. And this is what a DOT sticker looks like. It'll say DOT as well as the helmet's name in large letters. But the main letdown in the testum sy testing system for this is it's random. So the helmets out there with a DOT sticker may not have actually gone through the testing yet. Snell, like Sharp, is also voluntary and tests the US helmets to a very rigorous degree which is definitely a pro. But the main downside of Snell is that they're only US-based, it's voluntary, and due to their mission, generally focus on more pre premium racing helmets. The Uri RX-7B is also ECE certified, but it's also got Snell certification, which you can see underneath with the Snell logo. On a last note for all those hoping to hit the track, a recent addition to helmet safety is the FIM homologation for full-face helmets. While this certification follows the ECE standard pretty closely, the main area where it goes beyond is in its focus on rotational forces. So in terms of ECE 2205 versus FIM homologation, a fancy word for certification, FIM gives you an idea for how a helmet protects you at different impact angles. Though at the end of the day here, the most important thing aside from safety certification is the fit. Since you can have a fully certified Snell helmet, but if it's improperly fitted and comes off in the crash, that's not gonna be much use. If you've now found a helmet that you feel safe in, Make sure to head to championhelmets.com where we have a lowest price guarantee and plenty of bundle deals including discounted communication systems and discounted visors. So there you have it, the ECE 2205 sticker explained in brief. Those stickers on the helmet and chin strap do mean something and are important for making sure the helmet is street legal in Europe. And at least it makes sure that you're using a safe helmet. 
If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, and if you have any questions, to leave them in the comments down below. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.